Good morning, boys and girls. What time is it? It's medication time! Yay! Sorry, trying to act motivated. Um, another. Uh, so I had two nights in a row. Two nights in a row. The new world record, two nights in a row of pretty much an entire night's sleep. Uh, I will define an entire night's sleep by at least six and a half hours. A continuous, uninterrupted sleepy time. Uh, last night... I did not fall asleep until about Oh Dirk Stupid. For the purposes of discussion, Oh Dirk Stupid will be considered on about 5 in the morning. It is currently 8.22 a.m. So, yeah, you do the math. I had a stroke. I'm not doing math. So, we got all the little pills right here in one hand. One white, one pinkish, one blue. No, not that blue pill. No. Okay, medication's down. So, sorry, I haven't done any uh, videos recently. So, what's happened this week? Um, had two nights sleep in a row. That was undone last night. Uh, went to physio yesterday. Just when you think. You know, it can't get any worse. It did. Oh. She made me do badminton. Yes, um, that was fun. Um, turns out my physiotherapist doesn't get to play badminton often with a patient. Uh, so, yeah. Got to do uh, one-legged squats uh, and a few other new things. Um, at one point, she, uh, I thought I heard ball squats. I'm thinking, my testicles won't support that kind of weight. No, she meant wall squats. That's what she actually said. I heard ball squats. I'm thinking, is that a thing? That's going to hurt. Luckily, I'm in a hospital, so if it goes wrong, I uh, still have yet to fall during physio. Working up to that, at least going to happen once. Oh, no. Oh, I don't want you to do paperwork. I'm sorry. Um, so, a bit nervous. Maybe that's why I couldn't sleep last night. I've got to go hop in the shower shortly to head to Barry to go see the stroke team. Now, my brother advised I let the stroke team know I've worked on masturbatory habits, rowing habits, and my golf habits to improve or increase my ability to have effective stroke momentum in all three of those. But I'm thinking, well, what about using a hammer? You know, or your stroke string penmanship. Like, there are many other stroke potentials that I completely left out. Luckily, I don't think the neurologist will have that much of a sense of haha, -ha, so I'll keep that joke just between us. Yeah. Um, so, new coffee mug. Well, not really new. It's uh, R2 in the bath. Um, yeah. Had a bit of a stressy stutter day the other day. Um, before physio. Uh, and I, I don't know why. But the great thing is, I have a list. I've checked it twice. We're going to find out if my brain is naughty or nice. Yeah, I know. I know. For those of you that know me, shut up. I'm, I'm way ahead of you, okay? I might have had a stroke, but I'm not stupid. Um, so, yes, I know my brain. When they canceled the space shuttle program, for those of you that don't know me, my brain lost any appreciable method to get out of the gutter, so we're just going to lean right to the naughty section, right? I get you. Um, 
So I got my list for the stroke team <clears throat> of questions I have uh, to find out what can or can't be done for me. Um, we'll go through the questions once I get home. I'll give you an update from the stroke team. The stroke team! Uh, I'll give you an update. So, um, yeah, a bit nervous, to be honest. I'm just a bit nervous. We'll see what happens. Yeah, hopefully they can give me some kind of solution for the sleep thing, because this is getting old. Ugh. It is what it is, right? So I'm going to go hop in the shower, wipe the uh, stink of sleep off my body, um, and wait for my parents to get here, to because they've come up to give me a ride down to Barry. Sorry. That is probably bad YouTube etiquette, but I don't care. I had a stroke. Right? Remember, that covers a whole litany of social is, so just repeat after me. Only if you had a stroke, I've had a stroke. You know the powerful statement that can be just to get you out of almost any faux pas. <laughs> Less, of course, you are Miles' brother. If you are watching my videos, Miles' brother. Yeah, what number is that? don't care. Well, I'm off. If you've, over the last six weeks or so, um, because this will be seven weeks today after my stroke. So my stroke was on June 21st. Yeah, this will be seven weeks today. Um, in fact, it would have been in an hour and a half. I would have had my stroke. Hour and 40 minutes from now, seven weeks ago, today, I would have had my stroke. So, if you like what you see here, please like, share, subscribe with your friends, comments. Hey, you people don't make comments. What Are you all illiterate? Um, uh, and if you don't like what you've been seeing, and you have yet to share this with your friends, or possibly subscribe, but yet you've been watching these videos for seven weeks... Um, or currently this video, which is now 7 minutes and 36 seconds in. Dude, give your head a shake. Like, like, share, subscribe with your friends, or find a new hobby if you don't like what you're doing. Or you're just truly a morbidly sick individual who likes to make fun of those who've had a stroke. <laughs> or, maybe you're thinking stroke assault or literally... You're expecting me to go to an old folks home or a stork war, stro stroke ward and start just fisticuffing and being all pugilistic about it and start, like, punching out some octogenarian who's all like that? No, that's not happening. Dude, if that's what you're thinking, you are a horrible human. Horrible human. You might want to reconsider life and your life choices. But that being said, I'll give you an update when I get home and have answers from the stroke team. And, again... If you happen to see, either in yourself or someone around you, the signs or symptoms of a stroke. So that, that being facial droop, uh, slurred speech, uh, stuttering, inappropriate word usage for uh, context and situation, inability to smile properly, uh, or at all, or equally, uh, inability to raise both arms equally, or at all, uh, the inability to stand unaided, uh, general body weakness or weakness in one side. Uh, please, immediately place that person in a position of comfort and dial 911. Something so simple can save a life.